Hello, everyone, and welcome back to The Legend of Dragoon right here on Missile Dine Online. What's up? That's me. That's my channel. What's going on, everybody? I'm, I'm so glad that you clicked on yet another on yet another Legend of Dragoon video. Thank you, guys. Thank you. I almost said Kingdom Hearts video, but that's that's after this series. Anyways, uh, thank you. Uh, in the last episode of The Legend of Dragoon, we defeated Linus, who stole the Moon Dagger and was able to get away because she was, in fact, one of the races of legend. She was a Wingly, the very race that the Dragoons fought against. Rose's Dragoons fought against during the Dragoo, dra drag dra Dragon Dragon Camp Dragon Campaign. <laughs> That happened 11,000 years ago. In this episode, we need to board the Queen Fury, the mightiest ship in all of the land, uh, to go after Linus, who escaped to Elysia Bay. Uh, but first, there is some dialogue that I want to show you guys that I think is, uh, is pretty cute and uh, a little bit funny. So first of all, we can come talk to Princess Emile. The knight over there exaggerated when he said he was glad I was safe. I appreciate it, but it is a little bit embarrassing. I'm so, so happy that Princess Emile is back to herself. Oh, Princess Emile, I'm so happy that my tears. Oh. Anyways, we're going to go up to Princess Emile's room because as we last saw it, it was an absolute disaster. And there's actually some neat little things that I can show you up here. Uh, so let's, uh, yeah, let's get to it. I love the, the ocean that you can see down below. Oh, it's so pretty. So pretty. All right, let's head in here. Emil, obviously not in her room because we just saw her. Uh, all right, so there's two maids cleaning the room. We can talk to this one. Phew, I cannot get rid of the smell of alcohol. I'm, I'm sorry, what did you just call me? Oh no, the alcohol stain on the carpet. I cannot believe how bad it is. How could someone make such a mess? And then if we come talk to the portrait or check out the portrait, you know what I mean. Princess Emil is no longer behind the portrait. So. So the, wait, so the portrait is literally just of a bench? Or a couch? Yeah, you need a new interior decorator, girl. All right, and then we're gonna jump on over to Lisa's room. Now there's something very interesting in Lisa's room that I actually wanna talk about. So if we go inside, we can talk to, we can talk to Lisa because she is hanging out in here, Princess Lisa is. Thanks to all of you, I was able to meet Sister Emile for the first time in over six months. Let me express my gratitude. I felt lonely being apart from Sister Emile for six months. Hmm. Okay, that doesn't seem too interesting, right? But what if we look at her telescope here? Why is this downward? Huh? So Lisa is using her telescope to look down on the people of Fletz. Maybe someone in specific? Anyways, we want to head out of the castle area. Although, I will say that this is your last chance. Well, not really your last chance, but the last chance for a little while to get your Stardust if you missed it in the, the room that's at the base of this tower. If you missed it, uh, you, this is, you can get it now. Um, if you if you weren't able to get it during the stealth section, which I don't believe you were able to, uh, it seems they're using this room for star divining. Uh, you can make sure that you get the stardust now. Everything is under control now in the castle city and with Princess Emil. Yeah, he seems happy. We want to head on out of here. You can talk to everybody if you want. They're not really going to say anything like super exciting. You know, just that, just that, hey, you know, stuff's back to normal. What about out here? I won't stop you folks. You can pass freely. Yeah, we sure can. We saved the kingdom. I thought I saw something flying away from the castle in the direction of Danau. I wonder if it was just my imagination or if it was a wingly. Oh my God, that Princess Emil was actually an imposter. Yeah, you're right. I knew that Princess Emil was an, an, I'm an imposter. It's true. He talks like I do. Anyways, uh, you can stock up on items here if you so choose, although you don't necessarily need to. There's nothing uh, that I would recommend go get immediately. Uh, you could also, we do have to go to Denau now, which means we have to Denau now, which means we have to go through the Barrens. Uh, you could go, you could like restore your health at the inn. 
uh, potentially if you have any like poisoned or whatever. Um, you are still at the health that you were during the fight with Linus, so you might want to restore before you go to the Barrens. Uh, Martel will talk to us about Stardust. Not a big deal. We don't have any new ones that we can give. According to one of my customers, she saw a mysterious shiny object flying out from the balcony of the castle. Yeah, that was called that was called Linus, uh, and she is a wingly. Yeah, yeah, she can fly. Zoom, zoom. And uh, we also can't talk to uh, the the astronomer. He won't. He won't actually. Nello is that his name? He won't actually uh, be around. We haven't seen him in quite some time. It was this person too who was working to make the green, the world green. Uh, yeah, nothing, nothing really changes here for us. So we want to go through the barrens and into Denau. That was easy. I made it to Denau and I had like one random encounter. That never happened. I, I got so lucky. The Queen Fury is anchored at the port in this city. Welcome to Denau, the Flower City. Thank you, thank you for the invite. What about, what's going on with our newly married couple? It's what, you know, I know we do, you know, I'm just checking. I heard that after the wedding, everybody in the city got together and kicked out the gang. Wait, after the wedding? Or before the wedding? Thanks to you, the wedding went fine and we are spending our days living in peace. I, I, I didn't, I thought it was before the wedding because I didn't see. Yeah, whatever, dude. Whatever. Uh, we could come up here and talk to people, but there's not going to be anything... Like I said, uh, the dialogue is obviously going to be, like, a little unique just because of where it is in the game. Kamara Pooler is a sober guy. That's the man of the sea. Ah. It's a nice day today. It's the best day for laundry. Hmm. Okay. What about in here? Is there anything we can we can buy at the, the weapon shop? Usually not. Silver vest, a tiara. Do I actually even have a tiara? I don't know. The Queen's Fury is cool, but nobody can beat my pa and ma. Yeah, I don't know. The Queen Fury seems pretty cool. Anyways, uh, I just wanted to just show off some of the dialogue, but we want to go down because remember, we need to get to Alicia Bay. We need to follow follow Linus by boarding the only metal ship. Now, if you guys remember, there was actually dialogue that said something about a sea dragon, how they couldn't they couldn't go to Alicia Bay or to Fu Fu Fuano Fuano uh, because uh, there was a sea dragon or something. But then we were told by the king of uh, Flats, King Zior, uh, that the 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 ship, the Queen's Fury, is fine because it's it's a metal ship, so it's impervious to the sea dragon's attacks. Keep that in mind. It's something that might be a little useful to know later on. God, I just... Can't. Look at this. It is beautiful! That, my friends, is the Queen's Fury. Is this a ship? Kongul is excited. This bigger than me! So this is the Queen Fury. Hmm. You must be dark! Yes, I am, and you? My name is Kayla. I'm a crew member on the Queen Fury. I'm getting the Commodore now. Commodore! Commodore Puller! Darden's friends are here! What? Kayla, be quiet. Hmm. A man of the sea should have a big heart. Sometimes you listen to the waves and cast your dreams to the ocean. That is a man's romance. Commodore and his friends are here. You got an order from the king, didn't you, sir? Hmm. Oh, you are the brave young people who routed the bandits. You deserve to be guests on my ship, the Queen Fury. Thank you, and we don't want to be treated as guests. We have the same objective, to pursue Linus. Hmm. I like it. We're ready to go, sir. I see. Now the only thing left is for you to board. As soon as you are ready, we will hit the ocean. I, that doesn't... I don't think that'll hurt it. We've been waiting for you. Are you ready to go? Yes! Now, let's set sail! Alright, my friends. We are officially on the Queen's Fury. One of the first uh, times that we actually, like, ride something? That sounded weird. You know... You, listen, you know what I mean. Look at it! Oh, the Queen Fury! 
So you actually can explore the world map kind of ish uh, by using the Queen Fury. Not right now, obviously, but at some point we'll be able to we'll be able to use it. Look at oh my god. Look at that seagull. Interesting. <laughs> Many things have happened. I was put in jail. Dart came to rescue me. We were with Labitz, and now we're here, pursuing Lloyd. There are so many things I don't understand. The moon that never sets, the voice of Virage. I wish I could fly like you guys. <laughs> but it doesn't take me anywhere. Dart will laugh at me. <laughs> Dart. I wonder where he went. We get to control Shauna for the first time I ever? Like, excuse me? Yeah, we actually, we actually, we actually get to control her right now, which is, which is pretty wild. There's a guy sweeping. We can talk to him. Oh, sorry. Did I get your feet dirty? Uh, no. It, it's okay. Anyway, so this is the Queen's Fury. And this segment of the game is kind of weird. But essentially what we need to do is find each of the members of the party. But first, we're going to go, we're going to head down here. Oh, sorry, I, no, no, you're fine. You're fine. I'm sorry, guy. I walked into you, man. That was that was all me, dude. That was all me. Uh, there are two stardusts that we can actually find here on the uh, on the the ship. This mu this must be used to carry the fuel. This this what this this thing here? It must be. Kongle's here, but we don't need to talk to him yet. What is this, Shauna? A stardust? Oh my god. We could talk to Kongo if we so choose. Hi, have you seen Dart? I'll look somewhere else then. He just, he just like, is like, nah, dude. I heard that Alinus or something or other flew away at an unbelievable speed. The more we shovel the fuel in, the more power the ship has. So keep us shoveling. All right, all right. Anyways, uh, I just wanted to show the, the little cargo hold area. Or engine room. I guess it's more of an engine room rather than a cargo hold. I don't know why I said cargo hold. Don't look at me like that. Anyways, we want to head in here to get our other Stardust, which is actually right here. There we go. We got both Stardusts that are located on the uh, the Queen's Fury, which was very easy. It's famous among sailors that a phantom ship appears around this area. A phantom ship. Huh. That sounds scary. I'm sure we won't run into anything like that, though, right? There's also a little mini game that will happen here. 20 kinds of spices. Oh, Miss Shauna. Say, how about having a Julian vegetable match with me? Uh, sure. Let's play. I'm good at cooking. Oh, you want to play with me? The contest? It's my passion. It's my life. It's my work. Please wait while I get ready. All right, so this is a little mini game that you can partake in. Uh, a spoiler, you don't get anything from this. All right, so basically how this game works is that you want to hit the X button whenever there's a veggie in front of you, but only when it's in front of you. And then you want to hit it until it disappears, and it'll count, it'll count for, uh, it'll count for how many pieces that you actually cut. S different veggies, uh, are harder to cut, which actually can kind of screw you in this game, so you kind of have to get lucky. Uh, as you can see, we got a couple quick ones there, but as soon as you get the, the, the big, I don't even know what those are, uh, white radishes, I guess. Or no, those are big cabbages. Those take, those take quite some time to cut through. Uh, so you want to, you want to try to... You want to, you kind of have to get lucky to win this. But again, this isn't something that you like really, really want to win. I promise you. Um, I, I promise you don't, it's not like, don't sit here forever trying to do this. Uh, the goal that you get for winning is is really, really, really not much. Um, but I just want to, I want to show hopefully a win. Hopefully I get lucky. There we go. I got lucky. I win. 39 pieces to 34. I chopped 290 times. No big deal. Are you ready to see what you win? Are you ready? Oh, no. Miss Shauna won. Oh, it's a record for chopping. 
Oh, it's a record for the number of vegetables. Say, would you like to play again? Uh, no. Sorry, I have something else to do. I see. I understand. When you would like to play, call me. Well, well, thank you for helping me with my work. It's nothing, but this is something for you. One G. We get one G for winning. Are you kidding me? So we can also see the best score here. The best score is 39 pieces, 290 times. So I just I just thought that I would show this off. The min, the vegetable mini chopping game uh, doesn't really doesn't really matter, but it's just a little thing that you can do here on Queen's Queen's Fury. Moving on, I just I just think it's cute. It's more it's really not a not really it's I hesitate to call it a mini game because it really is more of like a I don't know a thing you can do. Oh, Mishana, when I finish cleaning, can we have a cup of tea? Um, I'm sorry, I'm seeing Dart, so, uh, no. Oh, Albert's in here. What is Albert doing? Have you seen Dart? No, I thought you were with him. Only in spirit. What are you doing, Albert? When you listen to the sound of waves, you feel like the world is breathing. It's very comfortable, so I closed my eyes. You are a poet. I'll look somewhere else. You're a po He's a poet? I ain't hear no goddamn poem. No, that was cute. Albert's cute. He's a cute guy in f with fragrant hair apparently. I don't know why. I still don't I still don't know why I said that, guys. So, Dart is uh actually in where uh in the with the captain or the Commodore Pooler. Um but we're not we're not heading there. I'm just showing What are you doing in here? Just showing you guys what what people are doing. I'm just bored. You know what? Let's have a pillow fight. <laughs> All right. Sorry, I'm a little busy right. Come on. You're boring. I agree, Miru. Shit. Wow. She just comes over here and says, "Wow." Yeah, I would have been saying, "Wow," if y'all had a pillow fight. Am I right? Am I right, fellas? You know what? Never mind. Now, the Seizu, where the wingly woman is headed, is vast. If she gets there, it will be very difficult to find her. Then we have to make sure she doesn't get there, my friend. So, we head into over into this room here. Kayla, go report this to the Commodore. Aye, aye, sir! Whoa, oops, sorry, Miss Shayna. That's okay, Kayla, I'm not mad. Maybe, maybe next time, don't get more worried! I report it to the Commodore. All right, thank you. Interesting. Hey, pretty. You want to sweat a lot and get slim? Don't do that. You don't need to do that. All right, then why did you suggest it? It's an unbelievable machine. So, wait. So, this is the engine room, but the other... I feel like the other place was like a cargo hold. I don't under... I, you know, it, that's what it felt like to me. I'm, I'm gonna call where Congo is is the is the cargo holds. That was the engine room. I don't listen. You want to fight about it? We can fight, but like that's that's what I'm that's what I'm saying. Now I could have sworn. I'm gonna I'm gonna be totally honest with you, and maybe maybe chat can help me out or comments can help me out here. Uh, I could have sworn that there was actually extra dialogue with Princess Lisa, um, although that might not actually be on this on in this section. Um, but I could have sworn that there was an extra scene with Princess Lisa on the Queen's Fury. Um, but I might be wrong, and, and I hope not, because I'm, I'm never wrong. But I might be in this case. Hey, hello, Miss Shayna. I love how everyone is like, Shauna's hot, dude. Because, like, she is, you know? The Queen Fury is the only steel boat in all of Endoness. It can endure even the attack of a sea dragon. Yeah, I heard. Hashel's also hanging out over here. So we've 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 discovered where almost everybody is. He's contemplating. I shouldn't disturb him. So just want to point that out. Of course, we are getting closer to where Dart actually is. This is a I, I really like this section of the game, to be honest with you. It's it's cute. It's like a little break from all of the action that's been happening. There he is. Here you are, Dart. Uh, we still have access to Shauna if we don't want to talk to Dart right away. Trips on boats can be hard when you are not used to them. If you don't feel good, just rest. Hmm. Lots of machines. What about this guy? Does he say anything? Oh, hi, hi. Are you enjoying this boat trip? You're beautiful. So we can head up here, although uh, we're going to need to head up there at some point with Dart anyways, but I thought I would do it now. 
because this is where Rose is. So you can choose to hop up here. Uh, let's get off the ladder here just so we can go see what's going on. I have the best eye on this ship. I never mess anything, whether it's a small boat or a flying woman. Uh, okay. Do you typically find a lot of flying women? Because that sounds weird. Anyways, Shauna can talk to Ro um, Rose. Do you need me? I, I don't need anything from you in particular, but I was just wondering how you are doing. I was thinking about Dart. <gasps> Do you... Just kidding. <laughs> ah, worth it. <laughs> ah, that's funny. Ah, man, Rose is great, dude. Rose was like, hey. Hey. Let's move down. Here you are, Dart. I also just realized that I called Fester, the, the guy that, the, the, the astrologer that teaches Lisa, I just realized that I called him Nello. Nello is the, is the garden guy. I don't, listen, I, I get names confused. Anyways, let's finally talk to Dart. Hi, Dart. Dart? When humans go to sea, there is a lot to think about. Friendship, love, life, and romance. Ha <laughs> ha! Probably, Dart's heart is wandering in the Mother Ocean. Such a scary face. He must be thinking about the Black Monster. Oh, Shauna, is something wrong? I have been thinking, too, about the past and future. And about you and me. You and me? Eventually, our journey will end. Yes, eventually. I wonder where we'll be. I want to be next to you, Dart. But nobody knows about the future. Why did you run away? Love and sailing are alike. If you don't swim against the waves and just enjoy it, you will overcome it. Thinking alone is sometimes good, but sometimes when you listen to others, your way will open up. black monster. I still don't know anything about it. Maybe Rose might know something about it. Yeah, let's go ask Rose about the black monster. That seems like a good idea. She's old and stuff. She probably, she probably knows. Dude, I, I'm telling you, while I'm racking my brain trying to think of where this, where this dialogue with Lisa is, because it's a very cute scene, and it actually has to do with Nello, which is why I was thinking of of, I was thinking that Fester was the green thumb guy, but no, 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 that's Nello. All right, we want to move up here and start to talk to Rose. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm a fool. A foolish fool. <laughs> Comments will help me out. Here you are. May I help you? It's about the black monster. I thought you might know something about it, Rose. That's right. You're traveling just for that. Unfortunately, I have nothing to tell you. Oh. What are you going to do when you catch the black monster? What are you going to do with him? Kill him to avenge your parents? Battle satisfy your feelings? Revenge does not generate anything. That's what I learned from Lavitz. To tell you the truth, I, I don't know what I'm going to do. Or even what I want to do when I face the black monster. I just want to know what he is. I see. Well, I can tell you one thing. Do you know what is the source of the power of dragoons? War is not in human nature. Humans fight by making themselves injure insanity. It is the same for revenge. This is a tool to amplify the insanity. And this insanity is the source of the power of dragoons, the Dragon Knight. I didn't know that. Someday, something will happen. And if you cannot chasten your insanity, I wonder if you will be able to endure it given the size of your spirit. Sorry. It was just nonsense. It's okay. When I finish with Lloyd, I'll go on my journey to pursue the black monster. But when I face him, I'll find my own answer to that.
that was weird. Mine is not a journey. I'll take a walk for a change. All right, we get to control Rose. That never happens. How exciting. Oh, oh, that's neat. Anyways, we can, we now have, obviously, have control of Rose. And she's got to find somebody to talk to. Which shouldn't be, shouldn't be too hard. Although, I guess if you have no idea who you're going to talk to, it can, it can probably be a little uh, disorienting. You can actually choose to talk to Dart if you want here as Rose. Dart is popular with girls. He is well suited to be a man of the sea. I don't need Dart. Then me? I don't need you either. Oh, okay. I'm just going to go. I'm sorry. I thought maybe we were hooking up, but all right. Poor guy. That's who you're looking for? Queen Fury is the only steel boat in all of Endinus. Yeah, yeah, I already know that. All right, let's talk to Hatchel. Are you thinking about something? Mm. <laughs> oh, Rose, do you want to talk about your love? I was just walking around and happened to be here. <laughs> Can I ask you one thing? Sure. You, why are you with us? I heard that in the beginning it was Dart's Dragoon Spirit. It seems that's not all. I guess. Maybe this journey is just a little break for me. Break, hmm? Well, everybody has different objectives on the journey. But you, you look like you're rushing yourself to death with your life being run by something. It's none of your business. Uh, you want, you went, you went all the way down there and talked to Hatch. That's the way you're going to be. I guess I was involved too much. I cannot make judgments about other people. Yeah, I mean that, I, yeah. Hatchel's home village 25 years ago. 25 years. Ah! Claire, your steps during the attack are slow. Take more precise, faster steps. Yes, father. You idiot! During the training, don't think of me as your father. Call me master. I'm sorry, master. Hmm. Claire, you, my daughter, were the only heir to our ancestral Rouge School martial art. Yeah. Here. Claire, you cannot take over the Rouge School with such pathetic skills. You implanted a murderous intention in your fist, didn't you? Oh, Lada, what's wrong? Lada, what's wrong? Oh, Lada. Get out of my sight. Lada, get out of my sight. That's a whole lot of bullshit. Hmm. I shouted out of anger. I was just running away from the pain that we have to overcome together as a master and as a father. It's been 20 years since I left the village pursuing Claire, but what I have found was only my immaturity. As time goes by, I forget the objectives of my journey. Dart and the others gave me a new one. <laughs> I think what I'm going through now is a journey to support the passion of young Dart and his friends. Oh, Zeus, I become too mushy. Well, maybe I'll go tease Kongle. I hope he's not knocked out with seasickness. <laughs> oh, that Kongle, he's a big guy. So now we control Hatchel, and you guessed it, he wants to go find our dear friend Kongle. Sounds good to me. That'll be that'll be a pretty easy one. Now, Congo could also do the chopping contest and all that jazz. Uh, he can also talk to everybody um, if you want. Like you can go, you can go talk to Miru as Hatchel. You can go talk to Albert. It's not it's not really gonna matter, right? Like they don't 
you're not gonna get anything that's like new revealing information like let's let's just boring boring bored 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 bo boring hmm. okay i'm gonna just leave because she seems bored we can head inside talk to albert if we so choose again you really don't you really don't need to this is just this is just you know how are you doing the wake of the boat meets the sea and disappears. It is like a human's memory. Uh, please excuse me. You freak. Very fragrant, though. So maybe he is a poet? I Listen, I don't know. Men, men, men be acting strange once they got on this boat. Everyone's like super contemplative about everything. Uh, Sean is here. You are having a good time playing with birds? You think so? You have a smile starting to peek out. <laughs> Maybe you're right. I don't know what you are thinking, but being young is a good thing. I don't think she was thinking being young is bad. I don't... I don't... Whatever, dude. Here you are, Kongle. Kongle, my friend! I've come to look for you, to tease you. What are you doing alone? Kongul always alone. You're not now. Friends, I still don't know. Kongul is here to see if you become leader instead of Emperor Dole. Dole? It was your objective for the journey, wasn't it? Hmm. Then why don't you talk to Albert? He might know something about Dole's story from the past. Goodbye, Kongul. You didn't tease me at all, dude. Hmm. King of human. Hmm. Now we literally look at him run. Look at look at him run. Look at Congo run. Okay, now <laughs> this is uh I'm pretty sure this is like one of the very one of two times in the entire game that we actually get to control Congo. So like look at him run! He looks so goofy! Where is Albert? I think he's in the cabin. Mm. Now, as Kongle, it's important to me to talk to everybody. Oh, <laughs> uh, maybe not. Kongle, hang out with me. Hey, hey, I said hey. No. Hey, don't ignore me. That was rude, Kongle. That was like, dude, that was really rude. Obviously, we could go up and talk to Rose and Dart, uh, but there's no, there's no real need to do that. And honestly, it would kind of take some time. Oh, I could just edit it. If you are looking for Albert, he's not here. Well, that was boring. What does Dart have to say? When humans go to sea, there's a lot to think about. Friendship, love, life, and... I wanted to talk about romance, too. <laughs> Congo was like, mm, romance. All right, what about Rose? You like tall place. Yes, it's closer to the sky. Okay. Anywho, now we can finally talk to Albert. Uh, that... Probably wasn't worth showing I have all the dialogue, but like the, you know, there's some cute stuff. Like I said, this is kind of just like a cute episode. Human King Albert. Congo wants talk. What is friends? Dart said Congo friend. Congo don't know. What is friend? My uncle Dole was your friend, wasn't he? No. I fight for Emperor Dole to make a world where all the species equal. Maybe we can put it this way. Maybe friends are the people who walk the same road. People who walk together but not led by somebody who share happiness and pain. That is friends? Yes. That is us now. Although we have different objectives, we are walking side by side. Kongul, you are already walking on the same road as us. Um, 
Did I say something wrong? Boring! Anyone want to hang out with me? It's thanks to those girls I can continue to walk on this road. Now, I'm going to socialize with my friends, too. Whoa, it's thanks to those girls. What is out? Al is Albert actually here for the girls? Shit, dude. Same. He walks in on Shauna and Miru having a pillow fight, and he's like, Yup, I chose the right road. Anyways, so is Albert. Obviously, we could just go right to and talk to Miru, because that's where he wants to go. Oh, you're not with Dart. I cannot follow him all the time, but being alone like this makes me feel like five years of Dart's absence never happened. We are having a hard journey, but I feel much happier than back then. I wonder if even a hard journey can be easily endured when you have a loved one at your side. Loved one? I don't still... I still don't know what Dart thinks about me. Oh, ew, there's so much love going on right now. Even... There's so much. This is definitely a cargo hold. You got used to the boat. Yes. Well, that wasn't worth that. Okay. What does Hatchell have to say to Albert? I have to leave him alone. Wow. God, that's boring. What about you, Dart? When humans go to sea, there's a lot of things about friendship, love, life, and romance. The ocean stimulates people's imaginations. How wonderful and at the same time dangerous a thing it is. That's a poet. You see through to the real ocean. <laughs> oh, that one's cute. That was cute. That one was cute. All right, what about you, Rose? Great view and great air. Yes, it is. That's it? That, that, uh. All right, Miru time. Hopefully she just doesn't yell at us that she's bored. Like, if you're bored, just take a nap. You're having fun as always. <laughs> she threw a pillow at him. I got you a big success. She's the best. It's an awful welcome. Hey, Al. You're a bit too squarish. You gotta become cool like Dart. Are you mad now? No, but I now have a question. Wow! The exciting question time? Miru, when you joined us, you said there is still something I can help with. Is that true? Um, let me see. I don't know why, but I really feel that way. Yeah, it's true. But I don't know what it is. You're not just kidding, it seems. Our journey is a dangerous one. We'll not be able to succeed if we take a lackadaisical attitude towards it. Therefore, I wanted to make sure one more time. I don't want to see anybody else dying. Now, please excuse me. Hmm. Whatever. The king became too serious. Now is my big chance to hang out with Dart and kiss him on the mouth. All right, so now we get to we get to control Meru. Miss Meru. Uh, who is obviously gonna go talk to Albert again. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna cut to the dialogue, but we want to go talk to Dart. Hey, have you seen Dart? I haven't seen him, but Shauna might know. She might, thanks. You literally, you just, huh. All right, what about you, Shauna? Have you seen Dart? I haven't, is something wrong? You literally did. It's nothing. I just want to go kiss him. I thought you were supposed to be with him all the time. Do you think it's strange? Not being together once in a while makes me realize many things. Really? It's too difficult for me. What about Kongo? Does he say anything fun? Hey, Kongo! If you stay in such a dank place for a long time, your personality will be drippy. <laughs> dank and drippy different? Uh, forget about such tiny stuff. Hmm. What about Hatchel? Hey, Hatchel, have you seen Dart? Hey, Hatchel, Hatchel! He's thinking about something, it's boring. Hey, it's high up here. 
Yes, it is. Rose is dark. I'm gonna go now. All right, we're almost done with this little segment here, which I thought was pretty fun. It was quite cute. All right, let's talk to Dart. Thinking about something. Hmm. I know. <laughs> Who do you think it is? Hmm. Is that you, Shauna? Of course, it's me. No way, it's Rose. Albert, don't be silly. Hashel, quit that voice. I doubt it, but Kongol? All right. All right. All right. Who do we choose? Who do we choose? Of course it's Miru. Of course. Wow. How did you know? There's nobody else who does such pranks. I guess so. Well, I have great news for someone who looks totally bored. Why don't you come with me on an adventure on the ship? I've already seen a lot. Hey, you were thinking about Shauna, weren't you? If she sees you walking with a pretty girl like me, she would get mad, wouldn't she? Shauna doesn't get mad about those things. What's with this adventure suddenly? Well, there is something bothering me. Don't you think Rose is strange? She's strange, but I don't think she's as strange as you. I'm not talking about that strange. I think she has something that she hasn't told us. Or she's been involved in something shady, or... Have you told us everything about you, Miru? I'm the exception. Don't talk bad about your friends. Everybody has something that they need to hide. Sorry. I don't mean to talk bad about Rose, but she's cold to me. So, somehow... <sighs> then you want to change a pace with an adventure? That's my dart. You are totally cool. Come on. Now departing on Miru's expedition. Miru's expedition, huh? Bow. Bow. An adventure on a boat. It reminds me of my childhood when my mind was full of adventures. So the person that we actually have to go talk to is Rose. Uh, but we're obviously, because we, we have other people, uh, we're, we're going to talk to, we're going to talk to folks. A Hatchel spotted. He's still contemplating something. Hmm. He's been like that for a while. What do you think, Dart? Everybody needs time to think. It's the same for Hatchel, too. I guess so. Yeah, this is a, a little bit, you know, it is what it is, this segment. I, I, I think it's really cute. Obviously, it's not like mind-blowing stories or anything. Although, we did get to see something with Claire... And Hatchel's relationship, whoever, his daughter Claire. Very interesting. What about Albert? The king of Sertio spotted hiding in a small place. If the people of his country could see this, how sad they would feel. What is going on? Miru insists on having some adventure on this ship, so... You are having a hard time, Dart. It's not hard, it's fun. Hmm. It's not fun, Albert. Save me. What are the two of you doing? Miru wants to have an adventure and she's dragging me around. Hey, excuse me, you were the one who was following me around? Well, that's it. <laughs> Good luck. You guys are not so nice. Are you coming with us? I'll be here for a while. There's fresh air here. There, there's fresh air everywhere. You're on a ship. Okay, finish talking. Let's get going. <laughs> Having a date with a girl on the deck? I'm not envious. He's envious. Hey, you're still here? Sorry for the noise, because Miru insists. Yeah, right. Don't make up an excuse. Just confess that you love adventures. Babysitter looks hard. <laughs> Hurry up. Let's go next. <laughs> Babysitter looks hard. Dude, nice line, Kongle. Nice line, man. All right. The last person we have to talk to is Rose. All right. Let's talk to Rose. Don't play a prank on her. She doesn't understand jokes. I won't. Rose has a mysterious personality. 
She's always cold, but when it comes to a critical point, she leads us in a variety of ways. We are alive now because of Rose. I agree. Hmm. What is it? What? What is this? 